Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here with ACN and I'm back at Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, I'm in the parking lot right now. Uh, anyway, uh, just here for a really quick update. Uh, it is the last day of the Boysenberry Festival. There's one thing I wanted to check out with that. And I uh, also, of course, wanted to see what was going on with Montezuma's Revenge, hopefully something, uh, and Fiesta Village. So uh, let's go inside the park and check things out. Just allow me to turn the camera around here and just you can see how absolutely beautiful it is here. Gorgeous. And for those that aren't familiar with Knott's Berry Farm, uh, the main parking lot is across uh, Beach Boulevard from the park. Uh, but they have this really nice approach. I love this sign. They put this up, I think, a few years ago. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go take the tunnel. So here we go with uh, taking the tunnel under Beach Boulevard. It's also for the cars to come through. Uh, this is kind of where people are thinking if they did build a, another coaster they could tunnel under, like maybe over here, and have it come across. But that would be a considerable uh, project. That would be a lot of money. So I don't see that happening. Uh, they have this uh, mural in here that they put in for their uh, 100th anniversary last year. It's still here. It's really cool. Anyway, that's that. Approaching Montezuma's Revenge now, and it doesn't look like much has changed, but uh, let's go take a look. Um, yeah, so it looks the same. I'll check back. Uh, <laughs> I'll check back next week. Uh, oh, but over here on the uh, the station for Jaguar, uh, they've started painting uh, the lower sections there with that turquoise. So that's looking nice. Okay, uh, let's go over now to Fiesta Village. But of course on my way, all these awesome decorations. Uh, more over here. This area is always so cute every uh, season when they redo this here. It's already a beautiful area, and uh, yeah, the decorations just make everything here really pop. Okay, now for real, I'm gonna go over to Fiesta Village. Okay, here we go with Fiesta Village. I'm just gonna take my usual route through the park here. Um, there's Jaguar going up the lift. I'm gonna take a peek in over here to see what's going on with uh, Montezuma's Revenge from this angle, and the bathrooms. Uh, Yeah, um, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, there's, there's probably a lot of work going on in the inside of the restroom there. Uh, so there's that. Once again, the new uh, paint scheme on La Revolution <laughs> looks so good. Especially right now, <laughs> with the beautiful blue sky. Such a nice day right now. Uh, this building over here has received all the stucco. Uh, it was uh, prepped last week, uh, so that's on there. And I don't think I can see much from in here, but, uh, well, a little bit. There's that. Okay. Uh, gonna head over uh, this way now, uh, see a little bit more. Okay, let's look in over here, and uh, a lot of dumpsters, um, but yeah, it's coming together uh, really nicely. Uh, there's more uh, rock work, um, they look like those like uh, soft round stones, they're on the uh, planter wall right over there in between the two dumpsters. I also wanted to point out how they have a cohesive uh, paint scheme that goes across the entire land here. The uh, cover for Fiesta Stage there is that kind of rust colored and it goes along with the balcony rail on the building over here as well as the, um, the carousel and Soul Spin as well all have that same color scheme so it nicely all ties together. And the hat dance is back open, uh, completely refreshed, has those nice a shiny uh, black like wrought iron 
uh, rails they are. They used to be like, this used to be like a really bright colored uh, thing here. So this looks really nice. All the vehicles have new paint. Welcome Looking back. super fresh, wow. And then over here, uh, one of our uh, viewers uh, wanted to see uh, the mural here. So here's the mural at the Dragon Swing. Uh, they still haven't installed a fountain yet, but here's that. And uh, also new signage up here. I don't remember this being painted last time. So new uh, signage, all new paint here. As I come through, we'll get a closer look at Dragon Swing. And uh, looks like they still might be doing some paint over here. Unless it's just the way it's supposed to look. And yeah. And just taking another look at all the detail work on the ship itself. Looks really, really nice. Of course, the statues that are still all covered up. And uh, let's, uh, let's go head over this way now. Over here on the side of the building, that's for the restaurant and the cantina. Uh, they have a lot of paint going on. They have like a sky blue or something over there and a yellowish a pastel and uh, whatever color that is. Um, and there's a guy in here I just saw a second ago. He's painting. Uh, yeah, kind of like a, a pastel, like a pinkish color actually, now that I'm looking at it. And uh, over in the distance, they're still working on the Fiesta stage. Uh, they have all the uh, terracotta tile down, looks really nice. Uh, and uh, things are coming together uh, pretty quickly here. I'd, I'd imagine by the end of the month that, uh, that this area will be open. Uh, we'll see. And the path this direction towards the boardwalk is still closed. And uh, of course, gonna look in here. Yeah, wow, okay, so they have uh, all the, the stucco. It's all painted now. Looks really, really nice. Um, last week it was just the red and the green up there on the awnings. Looks like the tile is coming together. They still have some, some more tile work to do. But uh, as with everything here, it's looking gorgeous. Just gonna pan across the area here so you can get a, an idea of what it's looking like right now. And then I'm coming over here towards Jaguar. And uh, let's see how it looks in this direction. <laughs> they got more of the turquoise uh, painted there on the side of the bathroom. Of course, everything over here was finished last week. Let's see what it looks like around this side here. Stunning landscape that they have uh, that's in here now. And yeah, you can see more of that turquoise that's going on on the building over here. And now that I'm coming across this way and I'm looking at the color of uh, Silver Bullet, especially the lift hill and those supports, uh, it goes along with uh, all that rust colored red that they're uh, painting here in Fiesta Village. Uh, so they've, uh, obviously they've put a lot of thought into every little detail here. Over here on the back side of one of the restaurant buildings or the food locations, uh, there's this uh, second story here, which I was told had been just used for storage for the longest time. Uh, seeing as they put uh, all new windows in there and everything, uh, I'm hoping that they use that for an eating area, like so you can uh, order food and, and sit up there. That would be really, really nice. Uh, they've also uh, finished painting uh, the bottom section here. Looks like they've got one coat on there. Uh, they still have another coat. Um, they're spraying on there. As, uh, <laughs> as Jaguar comes overhead. Uh, so yeah, if you couldn't hear me, yeah, they're just, uh, they got one coat of paint on there and uh, it's uh, getting finished up there. And uh, just uh, one final thing is just to look in over here uh, where there's another entrance for Fiesta Village. 
and uh, a lot more painting going on. Uh, last week, the building in the distance there was still the yellow, uh, so they have all the uh, the light, uh, the white color on there now. And uh, looks like there's um, more of that blue tile um, where the new fountain's going to be. So it's the same blue tile that's on those white pillars uh, that flank the entrance. And uh, lovely detail everywhere. This is looking so nice. I'm here at the factory store now uh, where one of our viewers has been telling me in the comment section to come visit. Uh, they have a tribute art show called Tied Up in Knots. And uh, well, here I am. They have an old soapbox racer car here, which is really cool. Sour too. But yeah, in the back of the gift shop here, uh, they have uh, Tied Up in Knots and it's a bunch of artwork from Various local artists. Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, that's so cool there. A lot of artwork here. Um, and it's all, it's, I mean, it's all for sale. Like this one is sold. Um, a lot of these are sold actually. Yeah, Sad Joe up there. See that. And really cool stuff. Oh, that's a, a boysenberry catawampus. Love that hat too. So yeah, here's this. Um, just one of the many awesome things here at Knott's Berry Farm. Over here at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel now, where they've made it across more than half of this side of the building. Uh, up top there, they've also removed the uh, Knott's Berry Farm Hotel sign. And they've also removed uh, all the chain link uh, that was just around the, um, the tennis courts here. As well as they have some of the, the parking blocked off here probably for all the, the construction stuff. But yeah, all this is wide open here. It's like a, a brownish gray color that they have on there. And uh, it looks a lot nicer than, than what they had before. Okay, let's come across here now. Over here by the uh, temporary entrance on the side of the hotel, uh, looking over to where the gazebo area uh, is, uh, or was, it's all been dug up. It was this way last week. And it uh, looks like they started doing some uh, white primer on the building over here, as well as removing the sign there at the top of the building on this side. Uh, just one more spot is just to go around the corner here to the right and check out the main entrance area. Here looking at the main entrance, also where uh, the Amber Waves restaurant was. And uh, I don't see too many changes from last week or even a week and a half ago. Or it was like two weeks ago actually. Um, but here's this. I'm sure with how fast they're painting everything, this is gonna get uh, some love very soon. And uh, that's the hotel. All right guys, that's gonna do it from Knott's Berry Farm. I'm gonna come back here next week because they are just moving along so quickly with construction now. Uh, until then, have a good one. Bye.